This is Chris Stanhill Painter here on Paint Life TV. Today, we're gonna to be talking about using an inspection light when it comes to cabinet refinishing. I'm doing a cabinet refinish project here. We're trying to get that ultra flat finish. The, Im the imperfection or the, the imperfection, imperfection finish? The finish without any imperfections in it. I guess that's, we'll go with that. So we're trying to get that finish that's amazing, a factory-like finish. And the only way to do that is with an inspection light. I do have an inspection light right, right here in front of me. This is what I've been using for years. We do sell it on Paint Life Supply Co. It's absolutely amazing. This inspection light will actually um, hinge, moves up and down so you can cast the light across your table just the way you want it. Now, the benefit of an inspection light without an inspection light if I cast this thing up that's at me so that um, we'll just cast it down so now I got the table right here I didn't, this finish actually looks pretty amazing it looks pretty dang good I would say well that thing's finished well, we'll just cast a light from an inspection light right across this door right here now I can see all kinds of imperfections I can see a seam here we've got things we've already filled I can see surface tension on here that's the finish isn't very flat I can flip my door over I can see knot holes I can see all kinds of things that this light cast now what happens is an inspection light this bright LED cast light across this door and it's going right across this flat uh, surface but anything that it doesn't any type of holes or indentations it's going over the top of that and it's leaving a dark shadow where all those imperfections are and those are the imperfections you want to begin filling we start filling we use bondo glazing putty or spackle i'll use spackle for anything large I'll use Bondo glazing putty for anything small. And I do have a video, you know, explaining when, what I use uh, and when on uh, both of these products here that you can check that out at another time. So I'm just cruising right along. You can use, um, put your Bondo glazing putty on a, a piece of cardboard. If you're doing a lot of filling, if you're doing a little bit, you can just put it right on your knife. But you can see I'm gonna be filling these seams Right here, I've got the seams on my doors, which show up. It's good to fill those seams in. If I'll flip it over. Uh, these are where the hinges were. It left uh, marks because the previous hinges were put on when the coating was still wet. But I can flip this over. I got some seams right here. And I want these seams to be gone. I want this finish to be absolutely flat. And this is the benefit of using an inspection light. It's gonna show you all this stuff that you need to fill. And then we're gonna begin sanding uh, and using our three by four sanding to get an ultra flat finish. An inspection light is an absolute must. You know, if you're a professional painter or even a do it yourself or trying to paint your cabinets, it's gonna give you that finish. There's nothing worse than sanding on a table without an inspection light or um, coating your cabinets if you're not sanding, coating everything, getting it all done, doing all that work, hanging it back up, flipping on your lights in your kitchen that are casting light down on your doors, acting like an inspection light and showing all these imperfections that you wish you would have saw, you know, uh, cause you weren't using an inspection light. A small investment, you know, about $250 to $350 for an inspection light like this. And it's gonna, it's gonna make your cabinet painting to the next level and give you that ultra perfect finish you can check it out the light we got it's paint life supply co we do sell the light you can mount it different ways you can mount it on a table mount it on a piece of wood however you like however you choose I got it mounted on a piece of one um, by three trim that I just got from my local hardware store. And I just roll the thing up, and put it away when I'm not done, um, when I'm not using it and it stores nice and easy. The benefits of an inspection light, it's an absolute must have when refinishing cabinets and even furniture. So there you have it, tips and tricks using an inspection light. If you've ever been using an inspection light or if you got other options, just let us know down in the comments section below. We would appreciate it. Um, we always appreciate your tips. I learn just as much from my YouTube channel as you guys learn you know, from my videos that we put out there. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider giving us a thumbs up. It really encourages us to continue making these videos. Your comments help, your thumbs up helps. And once again, we'll be making more videos. And like we always say, we'll see you next time right here on Paint Life TV.